Um, I'm not really that much into science usually, um, but I want to be. I really, I really think that science is amazing, but um, I don't have a very technical brain, and uh, usually I find that science requires a lot of research, a lot of patient research, and a lot of really technical knowledge and procedures and things like that. And I tend to be lazy, <laughs> so sadly I don't know enough, I don't know as much about science as I wish I did, but um, recently I heard about this machine that they're building, and I thought it was really interesting, um, maybe you've heard of it, it's called the Large Hadron Collider, and um, CERN's building it, CERN's the European research facility for um, for nuclear physics, something like that, and they're building it between the border of uh, France and Switzerland. So um, it's it's going to be really revolutionary. They already have something kind of like it in New York, but um, they collide particles at, at much lower speeds. So this is hopefully going to create particles that scientists have never been able to um, observe before. And I guess the one proton that they are really hoping that they see is the uh, Higgs boson particle. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, it's nicknamed by scientists the God particle. So, um, blasphemous, maybe. In any case, um, it would fill in a lot of gaps that are currently in the current physics model. and. Um, maybe um, explain how particles acquire mass, it would explain why gravity is uh, weaker than the other fundamental forces, it might, it might, uh, might show that there are different dimensions, and that's certainly the question on uh, a lot of people's minds, including mine, including a lot of science fiction fans. Um, of course, there um, are certain fears about the machine because it's so new and so different. Um, some people are worried that it's going to wipe out the world and universe as we know it. And the reason why, two reasons why, there are more than just two reasons, but um, two, two that I can remember, is that uh, it could create micro black holes, which would certainly not be good for the Earth um, if, if it created a stable black hole, but the scientists say that the black holes would be very small. Even though one black hole could theoretically be created every second, um, according to Hawking's theory, they should evaporate almost instantaneously. Um, this position is sort of debated. Um, just a minority of people question Hawking's theory, but um, some people think that um, perhaps a stable black hole could be created by this. Um, another worry is that um, strange matter could be created. Um, strange matter, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's, um, I guess, one way one theory about strange matter is that it's just the fundamental makeup of all matter in general, and it's more stable than nuclear matter, which has protons and neutrons and has positive and negative charges. And so the fear is that it will create particles that are more stable than, um, than the particles that we know of and create a chain reaction that will change everything into strange matter. Uh, basically change everything as we know it. Um, well, one thing that scientists do say to argue this, to argue against this, is that um, the Earth and the Moon are constantly bar bombarded with um, with uh, cosmic rays. I think. Cosmic rays, yes, cosmic rays. Um, that are 20 million times stronger. And so, if that's the case, then what are we worried about? Um, some people say that it's just an unnatural situation that we're creating, and that 
we're colliding protons together, whereas um, cosmic rays are hitting a stationary object. So, so that's how they say it's different. And um, perhaps it is a, a different, even unnatural situation. Um, so, in conclusion, I mean, an experiment like this raises a lot of questions. Um, even if the risk is very small, is it worth disrupting the fabric of the universe and the world? Um, how valuable is, is that sort of knowledge? Um, are people's concerns valid? What I think, what I feel is that I'm not very worried about it myself. Um, since the chances of something like that happening are very small, but um, perhaps they do exist. So, what do you think? Have you heard of this machine? I'm curious to know if I'm the last one who, who heard about it. Well, tell me what you think.